The police could stop you to carry out a stop and search. They can only stop and search in certain circumstances. And they must tell you why they are stopping and searching you and what they think you may have done. For most searches, the police need reasonable suspicion that you are carrying certain items. For example, weapons, drugs or stolen goods. Or fireworks, if you're under 18. In very limited circumstances, the police do not need reasonable suspicion to stop and search. This is usually section 60, when the police can stop and search anyone within that area for weapons and dangerous instruments. They don't need to suspect you of anything in a section 60. A section 60 usually happens to an area because the police believe that incidents involving serious violence might take place. Or that people are carrying dangerous instruments without good reason. Within a section 60 area, one person can be stopped many times in a day. On the streets, the police are allowed to look in your bag, pat you down or look in your pockets. If the police want to check in your shoes or want you to remove a t-shirt, trousers or underwear, they have to take you to a station or search you in a special type of police van. And there has to be two officers present. Of course, for more thorough searches, only male officers can carry out the searches on men. And only female officers on women. And remember, you are entitled to be treated with courtesy. The police must tell you the grounds for the search. Say what they are looking for. Identify themselves. Show you their warrant if they are in plain clothes. Tell you what station they are from. Offer you a slip, a record of the search. If they don't do these things, the search is unlawful. It's a good idea to get a slip and you'll need it if you would like to make a complaint at all. Have a record of how many times you've been stopped or hold the police accountable for their actions. The police may give you a slip there and then after the search or ask you to collect it later at the station. You may feel embarrassed and not want to wait for your slip but it's worth getting a record. In a nutshell, the police can stop you. It helps to cooperate. Stay calm, be polite, know your rights and do get a record.